Today's Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths paper was nowhere near as bad as many students anticipated that it might be. There were three main talking points about today's paper. First of all, it has become clear that the standard that was established last year, which many people thought was a dumbing down, but is actually a realignment of the standard, is, 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 is going to be maintained. This year's paper was very, very similar in standard to last year's, maybe slightly harder, but it was very, very similar, and it shows that this is the new norm. That was the first point. The second point is about the non-appearance of the financial maths. An awful lot of students would have put a lot of effort into financial maths. Some students found the topic very, very difficult indeed and invested a large amount of time in it. It was a reasonable expectation that there would be a, a decent question on financial maths this year, having only been a, a, appeared in a small section last year. So it was la largely anticipated and yet it was conspicuous by its absence. There was no part whatsoever on financial maths. And the third idea is that, once again, there are many interesting novel questions that students will talk about for years later. For example, question 9, part B, the final question was on male bees and female bees and progenitors of bees. But actually, when you strip away the veneer of these questions and another similar question about the marking scheme in the Olympic heptathlon, they actually boil down to standard mathematical questions. For example, the male B question boiled down to a question on sequences and series, and in particular the recursion formula for a sequence. Um, but all in all, students will be talking about this paper for years. They'll say to their friends in 20 years' time, did you do the question on the male Bs? All in all, it was a fairly accessible paper for most students.